Happy Tuesday, everybody. We have got two breaks tonight, Inception Baseball and Court Kings Basketball. Both are going blah 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 blah. Both are going to be by the full case. Um, before we get started, though, uh, ripping into things, we do have a little bit of information to go over. So we're going to get rolling with that right now. Okay, so first up, feedback. I have it set to be completely automated. So anytime you leave uh, positive feedback for me, you're going to instantly get positive feedback in return. Second message there is a big thank you. I do appreciate everyone who bids and breaks and chats and hangs out with me, uh, many of you on a regular basis. So thank you everyone for being here, being part of the break and spending a little time with me. We are taking a look now at breaks that are coming up. This stuff is already listed on eBay. It's up and available for bidding. And uh, this is what we'll be into for the next few days. T <coughs> Excuse me. Tomorrow, of course, is a new release day. And Diamond Kings Baseball happens to be our new release product for Wednesday. So we will open a 12-box inner case of that. The, old, the inner case just basically means they take two 12-box cases and put them in a bigger box. And they call that a master case because they're weird. <laughs> so... The main, the takeaway is it's a 12 box case. We'll also open another Gold Rush Trifecta football box that uh, has autographed memorabilia items in it. It can be uh, mini helmets, jerseys, photographs, cleats. Uh, I don't even remember what else. I'm sure there's something else. Oh, footballs. Yeah, lots of stuff in that. Thursday night, an Onyx Preferred Players Autograph Baseball 3 box inner case. A fifth and final case of Court Kings basketball will be Thursday night. And we're also going to break a half case of Tops uh, AAF football, Alliance of American football. And uh, that actually has some guys in it who have already signed some NFL contracts. I think the coaches have signatures in there too, which might be of some interest to some of you. On Friday, we have more new releases coming out. And we also have a special early start time on Friday of 9 o'clock Eastern. We're going to open a 15-box case of Leaf Metal Draft Football, which is a new release for Friday. A 10-box case of Honors Football, which is also a new release for Friday. And a half case of Gypsy Queen Baseball. So that'll be a 5-box half case break that is the back half of a case for those of you who care about that sort of thing. On Saturday, we're going to start at 9 o'clock Eastern again, same as we're doing on Friday. Saturday, we'll open a second case of Leaf Metal Draft Football, and we'll open a second 12-box case of Diamond Kings Baseball. On Sunday, we are looking at Inception Baseball by the half case. I actually thought I was out of Inception Baseball, and I was digging around today looking for something else and found that I actually have a half case left. So, huh, didn't know I had it, but uh, now that I do, we'll break it Sunday night. We're also going to break uh, two cases of Revolution Basketball, the Chinese New Year Edition. Those are eight box cases, so it'll be 16 total boxes, two cases. It is a different configuration, guys, than regular Revolution. So if you're not familiar with it, uh, make sure you check out the description on that on eBay. For tonight, the information you need to know is this. Everything is a paid shipping break. Inception and Court Kings, both. No free shipping breaks tonight. So our paid breaks are scheduled to get out the door roughly Friday. That just simply means if the week goes incredibly well, maybe it gets out a day early. If the week goes off the rails, maybe it gets out a day later. But in general, my expectation is it'll be out the door on Friday. If you get skunked in either break, meaning your team does not pull a single card, not a base card or anything at all, you are still going to get consolation cards. It will ship out with the rest of the break since it is a paid shipping break. So that's all the news to use. We are ready to get rocking tonight. First up, 16-box case of 2019 Inception Baseball. Full case break. This is break number seven. And, of course, uh, everything we're opening tonight ended tonight on eBay, Tuesday night, the 9th of April. You'll find that team names are on the left-hand side. And your eBay user ID name happens to be across from your team, if you were the lucky winning bidder in there tonight. And what else? I guess that's it for that. Of course, we'll put up a new spreadsheet before we get to Court Kings. This one that you saw was just for Inception. Last but not least, you're going to notice that the background is going to change here a little bit and go slightly out of focus. 
but please don't worry that is by design that's going to enable us to actually see everything a little bit better than we would otherwise all right inception baseball it is a one pack per box product and there is one autograph or one autographed relic per box there will also be two parallels per box and if uh, they can be green which if they're the green parallel that means they're unnumbered or if they happen to be a different color that means they will be numbered so we'll have a handful of base cards for uh, maybe four or five base cards pack the one hit and the two parallels base card parallels we will have a case hit or we should have a case hit in here called silver signings those typically come out one per case, although every once in a while we get a case that has two of those in it. But most of the time it's one. And I'm going to get all of our packs out before we start opening things. So we're just basically going to get all the boxes opened up and off the table first out of the first off the bat and get that part out of the way. That way once it gets time to open the packs we can just bust a move right on through it jay allen you've got to call it a night and get some rest you can't hang out with us tonight but you are looking for hornets pistons and jazz in the court kings break all right your mojo request has been noted and i will do my very best to fill it jay allen i will try for you yeah, for those of you who are waiting on Court Kings, Inception, uh, since it is also a one-pack per box break, it doesn't take a terribly long time. You know, you've got maybe 20 minutes or so, give or take five minutes, and we'll be rolling into Court Kings uh, shortly thereafter. So don't wander too far off if you're, if you're waiting for uh, basketball. Tops doesn't make any changes. We're going to be looking at Bowman baseball coming out next week, which I'm kind of psyched about. You all know, many of you, maybe some of you might be new, but for those of you who bid with me often, you know how excited I am for anything Bowman. I love my Bowman. Love prospecting. <laughs> so I am very much looking forward to the release of that. And then, of course, tomorrow, you know, we've got Diamond King, so we've got a new release to play with there. Still more Gypsy Queen to open, still more Heritage to open. So we got lots of, lots of baseball to keep us busy. Yeah, Jay Allen, I know those mornings come early for you. Listen, uh, my friend, if I had to get up at the time of day that you do, I would be uh, going to bed right now as well because I'm not good with early mornings. I'm one of these natural night owl kind of people. I always have been. I'm much more productive. If I had something that I had to get done and I only had four hours to get it done in, I would get it done faster doing it from 10 o'clock at night to 2 o'clock in the morning than I would getting it done 8 o'clock in the morning to noon. That's just... How I'm wired. I'm a night person. I always have been. Which works out well for breaks, right? <laughs> well, for me. I mean, you know, those of you who have to get up early, you're like, ah, start earlier. Which I am considering. You know, we've been playing around a little bit here recently between starting, you know, occasionally at 8.30 or 9 to see what fits. And I haven't really decided yet if we're going to stick with 9.30 or if we're going to move to 9. But somewhere in there oh jay allen you're a natural night person too so yeah it kills you doing the early morning i know i had a job like that man when i was uh district manager of the of the uh for the beer company that's what it was like i mean i had to work really late at night that part worked fine when i was out in my accounts but then I also had to get up really early in the morning and be there to see my, my employees off out the door, the people that worked underneath me. So I had to be there in the mornings for them at 7 a.m. And I had to drive a bit to get there, you know, getting in bed at like 2 and being back out the door at 7 or back out the door at 6 was not fun. All right, Benintendi, that is a green parallel, of course, unnumbered 
for the Red Sox. And then we have to 150. And the Braves are the Albies. Anytime you see that purple, it's going to be to 150, just FYI. All right, we are looking at Astros, Phillies, Orioles, and Braves. Our hit, which is upside down, is Brandon Lowe, Tampa Bay Rays, to 200. So Rays uh, jumping in to draw first blood here tonight in Inception. Can you believe my Reds finally won today? And in stunning fashion, did they not look like they actually were a baseball team? <laughs> I know, we were playing the Marlins. I know, you don't have to say that part. <laughs> but we won something like 14 to nothing, I think. So I was kind of excited to actually win one and be happy about it. That is uh, Glaber Torres. It's to 99 for the Yankees. Kind of a fuchsia or hot pink, whatever you want to call it. And Eddie Rosario for the Twins is our green parallel. And here come our base cards. It's Cardinals, Angels, Dodgers, and Oakland A's. Our hit is the Mariners with Mitch Hanager. That's a nice-looking relic, really nice-looking relic. It's numbered to 25. It is a sticker auto with your relic. And uh, many of you probably remember this from other Topps breaks, but most of the time... When you have an autograph and relic pairing in tops, it ends up being a sticker for the autograph. Oh, you're congratulating me on the reds? <laughs> well, listen, man, we I have to take what I can get, even when it is against the Marlins. We, you know, you know the story. Everybody knows the deal with the reds. Good grief. George Springer and the Astros to 99, followed by a green Shohei Otani for the Angels. Base cards are headed to Astros, Nationals, Padres, and Red Sox. And our hit is the Pittsburgh Pirates. It's numbered to 200. And that is Nick Kingham for the Pirates. Yeah, I saw where Puig uh, got suspended for, I think it was two games. Chris Archer got suspended for five for the little uh, brawl the other night, the little Pirates-Reds brawl. <laughs> this is Garcia Orange Parallel for the Cardinals. It's numbered to 50. And then we have a green that's unnumbered, of course, for the Tigers with Stewart. Our base cards, the Twins, Mariners, Pirates, and Cubbies. Our hit is a Padre, Jacob Nix. And Jacob is numbered to 199, another nice-looking relic paired with an autograph. Purple to 150, Giancarlo Stanton, Yankees. The green unnumbered is Rowdy Telez for the Blue Jays. Base cards, Loa Sega for the Yankees, Votto the Reds, Goldschmidt for the Cardinals, and uh, Tampa Bay Rays. Our hit is the Miami Marlins, Sandy Alcantara, numbered to 200. A green parallel there for the Red Sox with J.D. Martinez, and we have a red parallel, which are numbered to 75 in here, and it's two key, a little two key base card, uh, or parallel, rather, rookie card for the Braves. Rays, Orioles, Blue Jays, and Astros, our base card. Here comes our silver signing case hit, and it is Dylan Cozens to 99 for the Phillies. We hit him the other night, too recently out of one of these cases. I don't remember which which break specifically, but a recent one anyway. A green Trey Turner for the Nationals, and there's a red to 50 for the Marlins with Trevor Richards. White Sox, Rockies, Mariners, and A's, the base. 
And our hit is Reyes for the Padres to 200. Green Arenado, Colorado Rockies. Green Kansas City Royals, Whit Merrifield. The Nationals, the Giants, the Yankees, and the Padres, our base, and our hit, a nice low-numbered one here, to 50. And that is Santana and the Dodgers. You guys are so quiet in chat tonight. Jay Allen was the only one hanging out with me, and he's uh, he's had to turn in for the night. So I don't know where it, why everybody's just feeling very mellow tonight. Is that the deal? The Astros, Josh James, and then a green parallel, Colby Allard for the Braves. There's Reese Hoskins for the Phillies, Lindor for the Indians, Cole for the Astros, Kershaw for the Dodgers. And our hit, there's Dylan Cozens again. That is numbered to 99 for the Phillies. So Philadelphia kind of doing all right tonight at the moment anyway. So far, so good. A green Cedric Mullins and a green Danny Jansen. That was Orioles and Blue Jays. We have Mets, Cubs, Brewers, and Phillies for our base. Our hits, the Pittsburgh Pirates with Austin Meadows. And Austin is numbered to 110. A pretty nice looking relic. That is green for the Royals and green for the Tigers. Base headed to Cardinals, Cubs. There's Shohei for the Angels and then the Indians. Our hit is the Blue Jays with Lourdes Guriel. Well, come on now, Sleeve. Why don't you cooperate with me? That is numbered to 199. That's number 99. It's Mookie Betts and the Red Sox. So then we have a green Max Scherzer for the Nationals. Our base cards, Mariners, Marlins, Indians, and Mets. Our hit happens to be a redemption. That's going to hang out right there face down. And we will flip it over here in a minute at the end of the break. And then we'll go to the Tops website and verify the team and all that jazz uh, at the same time. That's to 150 purple for the Twins. Then we have a green Blake Snell for the Tampa Bay Rays. Mets, Braves, Giants, and Astros, our base. The hit is Colby Allard for the Braves, number 299. Hi, Ginger. How are you? You're looking for a little Juan Soto and the Nationals? Well, could be. Could be. We don't know who's under that redemption, but could be Juan Soto. We don't pull a lot of redemptions out of Inception, actually. That is Yelich and the Brewers in the red to 75. And then we have a green Kyle Tucker for the Astros. Blue Jays, the Rays, the Blue Jays again, and the Royals are our base cards. Braves, I bet you like that hit. There's Tukey to 200. That's a nice little hit for Atlanta. A purple Acuna to 150 for the Braves, and a green Matt Carpenter for the Cardinals. Brewers, Rays, Giants, and Red Sox, the base. The Phillies have a hit with Scott Kingery. And Scott is numbered to 199. 
That's going to bring us to Last Box Mojo. Yeah, that's right. Last Box Mojo time, where we try to bring the big fiery heat out of this last pack slash last box. Let's see what it is, kids. Mike Trout to 50 for the Angels as our parallel. And then we have a green for the Cubbies with Chris Bryant. The base cards, Yankees, Astros, Yankees, and Pirates. And our last hit out is for the White Sox. It's Michael Kopik to 75, the red parallel. Now, we do have, of course, one more uh, hit coming that we're going to find out what's on the other side of that redemption. And then once we get that accomplished, we will roll over to the Tops website real quickly and uh, see what we can figure out about it. Ginger says she thinks the redemption is going to be Chris Bryant. All right, well, let's see if you're right. Oh, ho, 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 no, friends. It's Shohei Otani. Yeah, baby. There's our big booming hit. It didn't quite come out of Last Box Mojo. It came out somewhere uh, in the middle of the case, but... If you've got the Angels, you don't really care where that came out. You're just happy to have it. It's my guess. So there it is, the Angels and Shohei Otani. But you know the deal. We're going to go check it out. We all know. I mean, I don't think there could be hardly anybody alive that wouldn't know that Shohei plays for the Angels. But still, you know I'm going to go look it up because that's how we roll around here. So that it's all up on the screen and everybody can see it. We are looking for base rookie and emerging star autographs is our card set. And we'll find it here in a minute. There we go. So now we just have to scroll down here and find Shohei. There he is happily residing as an angel as expected. But now you guys all saw it and it's all happily verified. So woohoo! All right, I like the way this break ended. That was a heck of a hit to end on. All right, we're going to recap uh, the orange art of 50. We're not going to look through the green parallels because they're not numbered, just the, the numbered stuff. Purple art of 150. The reds are to 75, so that's 150. The hot pink, fuchsia, whatever you want to call it, that's to 99. So there's 75, 75, 150, straight up 50. 99, 99, and 150. Those are our numbered parallels for tonight. Then our hits. The Angels get the Shohei Otani Redemption. Sweet. The White Sox with Michael Kopik. The Phillies and Scott Kingery. The Braves hit a little Tukey rookie ink there. And then the Braves also hit uh, Allard, Colby Allard. Lourdes Griel Jr. for Toronto. Austin Meadows came out, uh, still a pirate on there. So that's headed to Pittsburgh. Dylan Cozens and the Phillies. Number to 50, you have Dennis Santana for the Dodgers. Padres with Reyes. Our silver signings case hit, Dylan Cozens to 99 for the Phillies. The Miami Marlins, they don't go away empty-handed either. There's Sandy Alcantara. Jacob Nix for the Padres. Another hit for the Pirates with Nick Kingham. It's a quite a nice-looking relic for the Mariners. Mitch Hanager to 25. And we got things started tonight with Brandon Lowe and the Tampa Bay Rays. All right, so that is Inception. That was the last full case that I have on hand. As I mentioned earlier, I did find a, a half case of loose boxes uh, when I was looking for something else today. <laughs> Believe it or not, that happens a lot. So uh, we're going to break that half case on Sunday, but it'll just be, that's all it is. A half case is all I've got left, so... So that is what it will be, and then uh, unless I buy more somewhere, that'll be the end of Inception. Ginger says she's excited about Honors Football. Me too, but I tell you what, Ginger, it is really hard to get this year. Like, so hard. I did not get as much of that. That's the product I got the least amount of the entire year. I got more contenders, more national treasures, 
more, uh, you know, flawless things that are usually the harder things to get. I actually got more of all of those products than I did of Honors. Really tough time with it. But we will have a little to open for sure, just not, not as much as we might be accustomed to. All right, so if you didn't see this earlier or hear me mention it earlier, basically the 411 is this. I'm expecting your stuff to be out the door by Friday or on Friday. Uh, if the week goes well, might go a day sooner. Something goes off the rails, could go a day later. Friday is my best estimate as of right now, this moment in time. And uh, as always, if you got skunked and your team didn't pull anything, not a base card or a single thing, you are still going to get a consolation card because these are paid shipping breaks. Uh, you'll get it in the mail uh, just like the rest of the break. It'll all ship out at the same time. So we are headed now into a 16 box case of 2018-19 Court Kings basketball. It's a full case break, break number four. Of course, this also ended tonight on eBay, Tuesday night the 9th. Why do I say Tuesday the 19th? I don't know because it's not <laughs> the 19th. See, I got it right up there and wrong down here. Yeah, that's why I build in redundancy, kids. In case I mess something up, I can uh, hopefully get it right in one place or the other. There, that's a little better. And, of course, same format. Team names on one side, and uh, the user ID of the winning bidder is across from each team on the right-hand side. Kirk, you said you're happy you lost all the teams you bid on in Inception. <laughs> well, all right. I can I can accept that. Sometimes uh, it works out that way. Joe, however, is really happy that he hit the Shohei Otani because um, he typed in a bunch of whoop whoops and such. So congratulations to you on that, Joe. It was a really nice hit to have Otani come sliding out of there. Oh, Harrison, this was your first time doing a break? Ah, well, welcome. Always nice to have new folks jump in and join our little breaking family. So I'm glad you had fun, Harrison. I don't remember who your teams were, but hopefully we found something interesting for you. Kirk says it's time for some Lakers. Kirk, did you hear what in the world? All I saw was the headline. All this stuff always comes through like at night when I'm working on getting ready for the break, so I can't read the details. I just see the headlines flash by. Why in the world did Magic Johnson resign today? What is the deal? I mean, what happened there with the Lakers? Is he just, does he think he's going to get fired so he resigned first? Or is he just thinking, wow, this team just is so bad. And even though I got LeBron here, we're still so bad. I'm going to leave. I mean, what's, what's his deal? Magic's whole thing is supposed to be rebuilding and he's already bugged out so strange i can't wait to get the deets on that meanwhile court kings basketball same format in many respects in that it is one pack per box uh, and there are some parallels in here but a little different as far as number of hits we are looking for a pair of autographs and court kings and then, of course, a few base cards, a few parallels, inserts, etc. Oh, Kirk, you don't know you hadn't you hadn't read it yet either. Yeah, apparently, just happened. Um, I guess he made the announcement. Must have made the announcement like right about the before their game tonight, or right because I don't think they haven't played yet tonight, have they? No, I think they're get, getting ready to play. So, it must have been around game time or something that he announced it, but I don't know any of the details about it. So, huh. We'll have to figure out what that's all about. Oh, Harrison, you had the Phillies. Well, you did rock it, my friend. <laughs> that was an excellent first break. Congratulations on that. You got some excellent, excellent hits for your Phillies. Including the case hit, no less. So, all right. Way to go, Harrison. I like it. Yeah, Gina, that's what I was just talking about. I was trying to find out what are the details. Do you know what the details are of Magic leaving? That's what I was just asking Kirk a minute ago, if he knew the details. Because I saw only, like, basically the headline in one sentence, or not even probably a full sentence. It just came up in the preview window, and I didn't have time to click into it, being that it was break time and all. So I was hoping somebody would be in here able to tell me the, 
the scoop on why magic red. And find out what in the world happened there. Because that's kind of, I mean, you know, you that's unexpected, I guess. Considering that his whole thing was rebuilding the Lakers. He's been hanging his hat on it. He played there. He's legendary there. And now all of a sudden he's like, oh yeah, we had a really bad year. See ya. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> I don't know. We'll find out soon enough, I guess. Because if Gina knows, she's not telling us. She's, 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 she's gone, uh, she's gone dark on us. <laughs> she's not, she's not giving us the rest of the info. So, I'm kind of, I can't even think what our next basketball release is, but we're bound to be getting close to National Treasures basketball, because, you know, Panini always kind of dumps that one out in the middle of things, in the, well, at the end of the season, but what is the middle of the trading card season for the current basketball year? They, you all know how I feel about Panini and the way they release their basketball cards. I think their timing is stupid. But but anyway, that's how they do it. So maybe that's the next one. I can't remember. Gina, you said Magic said he wants to go back to having fun. <laughs> wow. Wow. Oh, man. Oh, that's so awful. That is such a terrible reason to leave. Oh, if I was a Lakers fan, man, I'd be ticked. I would be ticked. That's, I mean, I would have almost made up a reason before I would have just said, oh, I'm not having any fun. <laughs> I mean, come on. You think the fans or the players or the coaches or anybody else is having fun? Probably not. Because you all have been losing. So that's like, oh, that's just terrible. That's like the worst possible way to leave. But anyway, what are you going to do? He said his job was too constrictive and didn't allow him to talk to the players. <laughs> wow. Oh, magic. He's got to get some blowback, I bet, from that. All right, points in the paint. We're going to find loads of these. This one is uh, Carl Anthony Towns. When it is that color lettering, it's not going to be numbered. If you find it with red lettering, it will be numbered. And that kind of goes uh, to most of these, by the by. So this is Wendell Carter Jr. for the Bulls, and it is a level one. So whenever you see a card with that design, you know it's level one. When you see one with this design... That one for the 76ers, it is a level three for those of you who care about that sort of thing. Our base cards are the Warriors, the Mavericks, and the Knicks. An emerging artist, that's an insert for Trey Young. It is not numbered. All portraits are numbered. When they have uh, gold writing like this one, they're numbered to 199. If it had been that portraits had been in red, it would have been numbered to 99. Now, here we come to our hits out of box number one. It is Mo Wagner and the Lakers. Speaking of the Lakers, on an air apparent card there. And then we have Mark Eaton, numbered to 149 for the Utah Jazz. See, look at that. Right on cue. Jay Allen is still up, and he was reminding me that he needed Jazz, Hornets, and Pistons. And then he hit a jazz, like right as he um, jumped in to, to say that. So he's got good mojo flowing. So it was a Spurs base card. That is a Kevin Knox level three. These are level two. That one is Jerome Robinson for the Clippers. Why are they going 100 different directions? Panini makes me crazy with that. Renaissance Men, that's another insert. And uh, Patrick Ewing points in the paint. We have ourselves a redemption. You know how that works. It stays right there face down. We'll flip it at the end of the break and find out more then. The hit that is live in here is Clifford Robinson to 99 for the Portland Trailblazers. A brushstrokes insert. This is going to be numbered to 99. We know because it's written in red. Isn't that handy? Jason Tatum emerging artists. 
Then we have ourselves a level three Zaire Smith for the 76ers, a level two Miles Bridges. There's a, a base Richardson, DeRozan, and Lavert. Emerging artists for the Cavs with Colin Sexton. Portraits, Drew Holiday to 199. Here come our hits. The Spurs, Lonnie Walker on air apparent. And there's a piston. It's just like Jay Allen is channeling all of his teams right now, isn't he? This is Rick Mourn, Mayhorn to 149 for the Detroit Pistons. A little throwback. Gotta love that throwback ink. Well, I do anyway. I enjoy pulling sometimes the... Not always rookies. I like pulling some veterans and Hall of Famers and things of that nature. Ah, uh, see, you're not going to bed now, are you? Because you're, like, hitting. So you're going, yeah, I'm not going to bed yet. <laughs> I got to stay here and keep working my mojo. <laughs> I don't blame you. I'd do the same thing. <laughs> you said keep that ratio of hits going. Hey, I always try hard. I always try very hard, man. Anthony Davis, that's numbered to 99 for NOLA. And then we have a portrait of Kobe Bryant to 99 for the Lakers. And then we have a portrait for the Hornets. And that is Kemba Walker, also to 99. Then you've got a level uh, one Hamadou Diallo for the Thunder, a level one Wendell Carter for the Bulls, and Anthony Simons and the Trailblazers, a level three. A, th a three for Shamit and the Sixers, and a three for Bruce Brown and the Pistons. A level two window Carter for the Bulls, and then I think we're at base from there. So that is T Wolves, Kings, Rockets, and an Embiid insert Renaissance men, along with an Anthony Davis uh, points in the paint insert. We have an autograph for the Phoenix Suns. It is numbered to 199 with Okobo. <laughs> You'll have an energy drink tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, some days I have two or three energy drinks. I tell you, I have a hard time if I have to get up early. Stanford, uh, Spencer Dinwiddie, that is numbered to 149 for the Brooklyn Nets. We have some base for the Raptors, the Pistons, and the Pacers. There's an Aaron Holiday emerging artist and a portrait to 199 of Brandon Ingram for the Lakers. We have another redemption rearing its ugly head. It's going to sit over there in housekeeping. We'll check it out shortly at the end of the break. This is the Golden State Warriors to 99. That is definitely throwback right there. Thunder, Grizzlies, Nuggets, points in the paint. Hassan Whiteside, a uh, portrait for the T-Wolves to 199. Alonzo Trier, that's a, that's a handy little hit there for the Knicks. That is numbered to 99. He actually turned out to be pretty good this year as a whole. I mean, I think he's got potential. Pretty good little hit for the Knicks. The Mavericks, Jim Jackson. That is numbered to 25. And if you have the Mavericks, you're kind of going, I only want one player. <laughs> right? Yeah, I feel you. I hear you. You're looking for Luca, probably and only Luca, right? Jay Allen, you said you drink a couple of energy drinks a day. I do too. I, well, I drink at least one every day. I start every single day. I start my day with a Red Bull. So I do not like coffee. So I never have liked coffee. I don't even like the smell of it, frankly. So I start my day with Red Bull. And then, yeah, um, many, many times I end up uh, having to, to go along and have another one before I get through it. Nick, you need more Lakers, huh? All right, we'll see if we can ring the bell for the Lakers for you then. Kevin Knox, that is number 25 emerging artists uh, for the New York Knicks. Number 99, the Greek freak, Giannis Antetokounmpo for the Bucks. 
Also numbered to 99, Mark Gasol and the Grizzlies. And we've got a bunch of level twos. Jaron Jackson for the Grizzlies. Shea Gilgis Alexander Clippers. And uh, Dante DiVincenzo for the Bucks. And then a bunch of level ones behind that. Grayson Allen for the Jazz. Jalen Brunson Mavericks. And Anthony Simons Trailblazers. And here comes some base. Thunder, Knicks, Warriors. An insert uh, for Mo Bamba Emerging Artists. And ho oh, oh, ho, what have we here? This looks interesting. Hang on now. This is an insert. Uh, this is a Kobe Bryant something or another. Just a Kobe Bryant insert, I guess. But we haven't seen, or I haven't seen that come out of anything yet. Oh, I know why. Because that's like, I can't pronounce all that, but you see all the French writing there. <laughs> Okay, there are two or three different French or cards with the French writing on them that I cannot pronounce and I don't know what it means. Anyway, those are really rare. You don't find them very often. So this particular one is Kobe Bryant and it's all those words right there that are the important part. And um, yeah, that's the first one of those we've seen. And this is our, what, fourth case? Yeah, so again, doesn't come out very often. So that's good for you, Lakers, Kirk. You may not know it, but it is good for you. That is another redemption sitting up there in our housekeeping pile. Three of them waiting now. Avery Bradley to 49 for the Clippers. Staying lovers here looking for Bulls and Pacers. Chris Middleton for the Bucks, Russell Westbrook Thunder, Steph Curry Warriors, and Andrew Wiggins Renaissance Men insert points in the paint, Carl Anthony Towns. An autograph for Mikhail Bridges, numbered 199 for the Phoenix Suns. And behind that, the Jazz. That's going to Jay Allen. It is Daryl Griffith, and it is numbered to 99. Brushstrokes is our card set. Chris Paul, the Rockets, Harrison Barnes for the Mavericks, Evan Fournier for the Magic, and emerging artist Lonnie Walker for the Spurs, and a portrait here to 199 of Donovan Mitchell and the Jazz. Autograph for the Nuggets, Michael Porter Jr. to 99. And then the Magic, DJ Augustin to 99 as well, I think, yeah. 99. I had to look at that twice. For a minute I thought it said 199, but it didn't. All right. So far, so good. I will say this. We have, in some of the past cases, have some really good luck with our redemptions being really good hits. So, you know, we've got three to choose from there, and I'm hoping that that means at least one of them will be a really good hit. Maybe more. I don't know, but I hope at least one is. Let's try to get our base up there, and let's see what we've got. Numbered to 99, that is Prince and the Hawks. And a Renaissance Men numbered to 99 for the Knicks with Tim Hardaway Jr., and to 99, it's Buddy Heald and the Kings. Now we've got a level one Jaron Jackson Jr. for the Grizzlies, a level one Mo Wagner for the Lakers, a level two Luca. Finally, we see Luca on a level two there for the Mavericks. Then we have a level three Kevin Herter. For the Atlanta Hawks, a, a level three Miles Bridges for the Hornets, and a level one Dante DiVincenzo for the Milwaukee Bucks. Our base are the Warriors, the Spurs, and the Hawks. I have an insert Troy Brown Jr., emerging artist, and a Renaissance man, Anthony Davis. Here's another hit for Jay Allen with Bruce Brown. Detroit Pistons and Jay Allen that's to 25 you must have been uh, as my grandmother would say you must have been holding your nose right today you're having some really good luck because look what else this is also your hit it's Rudy Gobert for the Jazz and it is numbered to 149 
Jay Allen's kind of backing up the Brinks truck tonight, it looks like. John Wall for the Wizards, LeBron James Lakers, Paul Gasol Spurs, points in the paint, Alonzo Mourning, a Luka Doncic insert portraits that will be numbered to 199. Josh Okoji, Okoji to 199 for the T-Wolves. Behind that, the Celtics with Paul Silas. Paul here is numbered to 149. Throwback. Chris Paul, Karis Levert, JJ Reddick were the base cards. Renaissance men, Kemba Walker, a Dwayne Wade portrait for the Heat to 199. Here come the Chicago Bulls. I believe that's who Stang Lover needs, right? He needs a Chicago Bull. How about Chandler Hutchison to 99, Stang Lover? And behind that, the T-Wolves hit with, uh, to 25 with Terrell Brandon. All right, let's do, since there are, we'll leave, uh, we'll leave one to make one truly do our last box mojo. So we'll open up and set in our stacks like we have been. Three of them and we'll leave one. I think that's reasonable. Jay Allen, you said you did have a strong feeling about your particular teams tonight. Well, you did pretty well by yourself, uh, by, you know, by your uh, feeling there. You did, you're doing quite well. So, sometimes you get those little inklings, they turn out to be correct. Jimmy Butler and the 76ers, number 225. Victor Oladipo and the Pacers to 99. Then we have a level three Okoji for the T-Wolves, a level two Anthony Simons and the Blazers, level one Jaron Jackson Grizzlies, level two Hamadou Diallo for the Thunder, uh, that is one for Michael Porter and the Nuggets, and this is three for Kevin Herter and the Hawks. Bucks, T-Wolves, Suns, a James Harden Renaissance Men insert for the Rockets. Tobias Harris to 199 portraits for the Clippers. Here comes a Laker. It is Jamal Wilkes, and it is numbered to 149 breaststrokes. And then the Warriors, Stephen Jackson to 149 for Golden State. Jay Allen, you said you had the same feeling about the Phillies tonight in Inception. Yeah, they did do well. You are quite right. They did. The Phillies had a really nice break in Inception. So see, you should have you should have followed your gut on that one too, huh? Although if you had, then then you know, we wouldn't have been able to get Harrison hooked up. And this was his first break. I think he said his first break ever, maybe. Not just first break here, maybe first break period. So Celtics, Bulls, and Nuggets. Points in the paint, Yao Ming. Chris Paul for the Rockets. Portraits to 199. And another redemption. We have four setting up there waiting on us at this point. And then we have, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, Marcus Marquise Johnson for the Milwaukee Bucks to 99. Look at those shorts, man. Those are like seriously short, aren't they? <laughs> you forget about them when they were so, so short. <laughs> T Wolves, the Kings, and the Lakers, a Dwayne Wade Renaissance men insert a Jacob Evans portraits to 199. Here comes Vlade Divic for the Lakers to 149. And then the Knicks. Oh man, it's Kenny Walker. That's to 149. You know I love me some Kenny Skywalker because he used to play for my Kentucky Wildcats, baby. Oh yeah. I know, some of you be hating on my Wildcats, but hey, I went to school there. Of course, I'm going to be a Wildcats fan. It's my alma mater. 
Jalen, you are right. 70s short shorts for sure. I mean, <laughs> sometimes you forget about like how crazy short some of that stuff was. Jeru Holiday, that's going to be numbered to 25 for Nola. This is our last pack, by the way. Last box mojo in effect right now. Right now. Landry Shamit, that's a level three for the Sixers. We have a level two Chandler Hutchison for the Bulls. Our base cards are Joe Harris for the Nets, Brandon Ingram for the Lakers, James Harden Rockets, a LeBron James Renaissance Man insert, and Anthony Davis Portraits to $199. And, oh, it worked again. I'm telling you, Last Box Mojo has been working a surprising amount of the time lately. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? There were four packs left, and I didn't, you know, I just said, oh, I'm going to pick three and leave one for last box mojo. Look at the one we left. DeAndre Ayton to 199 for the Phoenix Suns. Love it. And then the Clippers with uh, Keon Dueling to 25. Now, we've got four redemptions left to flip over, so don't wander off yet if you're... Uh, if you're if you haven't hit what you're looking for yet, don't give up. We still have four to check out here, and then of course, as normal, after we uh, flip them, we'll go to the Panini website and we'll verify our teams, and and quite handily, it will also tell us what each of these are going to be numbered to as well. Jesse's here. Hi, Jesse. Um, I don't th think we had any Kings autographs yet that I remember, unless they're on one of these redemptions. Now, as far as like base cards or parallels or numbered cards, that I'm not sure about, man. I, you know me, I do well to retain the autographs. <laughs> I definitely don't retain the extraneous stuff. Well, that's going to be headed to the T-Wolves. It's Bates Diop or Diop, uh, Air Apparent Ruby. Okay, so that's our first one. And again, we will go and, uh, you know, find out the numbering and verify our teams and all that shortly. Next up, Sir Charles, baby, Charles Barkley. Woohoo! We pulled him the other night, too. Legacy Signature Sapphire. That's a nice, low-numbered hit. And, oh, what team was he in here, guys? Well, we'll find out in a minute. I can't remember if he was Suns or Sixers or who he was. I think Suns, actually. But we'll we'll go check it out. It'll tell us. Well, look at that. That's T-Wolves again. Fresh Paint Ruby. Same player. Bates, uh, Diop, Diop, whatever. Same guy. And Sir Charles. That's such a good hit. And then we have uh, the baby Greek freak, Costas Antetokounmpo, fresh paint ruby. That will be the Mavericks. So let's go find out what all this stuff is numbered to and get this all happily verified. Um, Jay Allen says, yes, it is the Suns for Sir Charles. I, th I couldn't remember. I thought it was, but then, you know, sometimes they mix it up and put him in for another team. So I thought I'd better... Kind of make sure, which we do anyway, right? We do that anyway. I verify it all. So, handily, I already had it set up for Court Kings, assuming that we were going to find things we needed to look up. So, Air Apparent Ruby is where I'm headed first. And that is our Bates uh, Diop Diop, whatever. He's card number 13. And it is going to be numbered to 99. So, we got that one knocked out. Then we had, let's see what our others are here, a Fresh Paint Ruby. We've got two Fresh Paint Rubies, so let's go look those up and get them squared away. One of them is uh, Bates again, and that is card number 41. you got to scroll way down to get to him. Number to 99 on this one as well. Then we have for the Mavericks, Costas here. He's way up there, card number 13. He's in the same card set. He is also numbered to 99 for the Mavericks. And then Sir Charles, baby. Yeah. Legacies, Signatures, Sapphire. That's going to be so good. All right, it is card number two, Sir Charles, number to 25. 
and he is in fact a phoenix sun in there so sons you ended up doing really well i mean you got the aiden and the charles barkley to 25 yeah sons kind of ended up uh crushing things right here at the end didn't they okay so let's recap it here Phoenix Suns have a redemption for Charles Barkley. It will be numbered to 25. The Dallas Mavericks, Costas, will be numbered to 99. The T-Wolves, Fresh Paint, to 99 for Bates, Diop. And then same player, different card set, Air Apparent Ruby. Also, of course, T-Wolves, because, yeah, it's the same dude. And we had the Clippers to 25, the nice DeAndre Ayton and the Suns numbered to 199. The Knicks with Kenny Skywalker to 149. There's a Vlade to 149 for the Lakers. The Bucks with Johnson numbered to 99. The Golden State Warriors with Steven Jackson to 149. Jamal Wilkes and the Lakers to 149. Terrell Brandon T-Wolves to 25. Chandler Hutchison to 99 for the Bulls. And the Celtics to 149, Paul Silas. Number to 199, Okoji. Okoji. Four. I can never say his name. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. well, that's not a shock to many of you. For the T-Wolves, Rudy Gobert and the Jazz to 149. Bruce Brown and the Pistons to 25. Got a little love for the Magic with DJ Augustin to 99. Michael Porter Jr. showed up for the Nuggets to 99. The Jazz, Daryl Griffith to 99. I about forgot what it was to numbered to. Oh, I forgot the Suns also had Mikhail Bridges. That's uh, numbered to 199. The Clippers, Avery Bradley to 49. The Dallas Mavericks, Jim Jackson to 25. Alonzo Trier, that is numbered to 99 for the Knicks. Then you have the Warriors to 99. Al the Nets to 149, Spencer Dinwiddie. Oh, and the Suns had this too. Gosh, I forgot the Suns had so many hits in here. That's Okavo to 199. And then the Detroit Pistons with Mayhorn to 149. Lonnie Walker for the Spurs to 199. A Breaststrokes for the Blazers to 99, Clifford Robinson. Then the Jazz again, Mark Eaton to 149, and the Lakers with Mo Wagner to 199. And then we have the Lakers, uh, the Kobe Bryant card. I should have set him, uh, let me get him real quick. I should have had him in our recap pile. You know I can't pronounce all those French words, and I'm not even going to try, but there they are on the frame, written under Kobe's picture. And these are pretty hard to pull. There's two or three different titles of these uh, French titles for inserts. But I can tell you this is the first one we've pulled in five cases. So not very commonly pulled, however it is pronounced. And that one is for Kobe and the Lakers. And I suspect that's a pretty good little hit. I think that'll probably be a pretty decent little return on investment for there, for that, uh, for that little card. Okay, kids, so that is the break and that is the recap, but I will put up a spreadsheet info one more time. For those of you who might have missed it, you can take a peek at your anticipated shipping date and then we'll take a quick look at what's going to be breaking in the days ahead. So, one more time, my anticipated shipping date is Friday. If I can get it out faster, I will. If something went crazy for the week, it might slide a day later and go Saturday. My best guess is Friday. If you got skunked in either break tonight and you didn't hit a single thing, not a base card, not anything, you are still going to get consolation cards in the mail. They will ship out with the rest of the break since these were all paid shipping breaks tonight. Uh, as opposed to sometimes we have free shipping breaks, which are done a little differently. 
So tomorrow is a new release day. Diamond Kings Baseball comes out. We're going to break a 12-box case of that, as well as a Gold Rush Trifecta football box. That's got the three autograph memorabilia items in it. And so far, those have been a lot of fun. Thursday, we'll open a three-box uh, inner case of Onyx Preferred Players Autograph Baseballs, a fifth case of Court Kings Basketball, which will probably be our last case of that, and a half case of uh, Topps AAF Football. Woo on Friday, we got a couple of new releases on Friday. We're going to start at 9 Eastern. By the way, tomorrow night is also 9 Eastern. I don't think I said that, but you can see it there, but... Anyway, so Wednesday night, 9 Eastern, 6 Pacific. Friday night, also 9 Eastern, 6 Pacific. We'll open a 15-box case of Leaf Metal Draft, a 10-box case of Honors Football, and a 5-box half case of Gypsy Queen Baseball. We're going to be busy Friday night. Saturday is another night where we're going to start at 9 Eastern, 6 Pacific. We'll open a 15-box case of Leaf Metal Draft and another 12-box case of Diamond Kings Baseball. On Sunday, it will be a half case box uh, or a half case of loose boxes, eight in total uh, for Inception Baseball. And then we'll open in, uh, two cases of Panini Revolution Basketball, the Chinese New Year Edition. Those are eight box cases. So it's 16 boxes, two cases, Chinese New Year Edition, different configuration than regular Revolution. I think most of you probably know that, but just in case you don't. Uh, check out the listing description for some more info in regard to that. So that's it for me tonight. Once again, thank you for joining me. I always appreciate you spending some time with me. Um, I hope I will see you again soon. In the meantime, enjoy the rest of your week, and uh, we'll be back at it tomorrow night. Until then, take care now. Bye-bye.